Danny Law. My sleep schedule is not great at the moment. And I've heard you say, I think I heard you say that if you're not sleeping well, it can affect your testosterone levels and it can affect your performance in the gym and in various other areas of life. <laughs> Did I mishear you or is that true? Do you know what, man? This is, it's really funny you should say that. One thing which I don't think fellas realize, especially in this crazy hustle and grind, sleep when you're dead, crazy mentality that a lot of guys now are kind of forced to kind of adopt this, this mindset. So one thing I don't think that people kind of realize, a side effect of that, if, you, if you're chronically sleep deprived, and when I say chronically, I mean, if you've had five or six bad nights sleep, your testosterone levels are the equivalent of a man 10 years your senior. Just kind of, just think about that. Just, just, just kind of let it sink in. Your actions, your refusal to go to bed, as it were, you are literally sucking the very essence that makes you a man, your testosterone levels, you are actively choosing to lower them. Which, in turn, as you've quite rightly said, you don't feel you're not getting the results that you should be getting in the gym. Your libido is going to be through the floor. Of course it's going to be through the floor. Your ability to, to maintain an erection, it's going to be subsiding. All because you have a little tiny tantrum at night and you refuse to go to bed. So something that I would probably be kind of looking at, in, in your case, I would be looking at, number one, bringing, bringing an awareness, an acute awareness to the way that you behave every single day. Realising that no one's coming to save you. If you don't make the changes that you need, you are going to decline that little bit faster. So I would be looking at number one, let's look at bringing some form of regularity to your sleep wake cycle. Let's look at what time you need to be up in the morning and let's reverse engineer. Let's, let's kind of, let's go, let's, let's count backwards so that we get seven to nine hours of quality sleep. And when I say quality sleep, I don't mean seven to nine hours in bed. I mean, seven to nine hours of quality sleep. But that's another video. That's a, that's a whole new video. So we're looking at regulating your sleep-wake cycle. Seven days a week. Regularity is key. Whenever we're trying to build any, any new habits or new behavior into our life, consistency is key. So we're looking at your sleep-wake cycle. Then I would probably be looking at knowing, again, the, the kind of hustle and grind culture, the getting caffeinated up to your fucking eyeballs. I would be looking at your habitual use of caffeine. Now, this is difficult for a lot of people because a lot of people just reach for the coffee pot without even kind of paying any attention. So what I'd like you to do is just bring your attention to how many times a day do you put the kettle on? How many times a day do you pour, do, do you pour a coffee? Once we've got an idea of that, we can start kind of reducing it because the, the, the funny thing about caffeine is it's actually, it, it's active in the body, shall we say, for way longer than people think. It's actually active in the body for, you know, up to 12 hours. So if, if you kind of think about that, if you have four cups of coffee between nine and 10, then between nine and 10 at night, you've still got a lot of caffeine working on the brain to, to keep you awake. Then I would be looking at your screen time. I would be looking at how long do you actually spend of an evening staring at your mobile phone or staring at your laptop. This is gonna affect your body's ability to, to get into the deeper phases of sleep. Simply because your eyes detect light then that sends a signal into the brain to say that it's daytime and we don't need to go to sleep. So you can imagine if you're if it's 10 o'clock at night and you're trying to go to sleep, but you're like this on your phone or you're like this on your laptop, you're gonna really, really struggle. So if you can, if you can look at implementing those tips into your day religiously, if we combine that, hopefully, 
if you can implement those three simple lifestyle changes, you will quite quickly begin to feel better. You'll, be, you'll feel better in the gym. Your libido will start to come back. All round, your sense of self, your sense of being, your, your sense of purpose will all massively increase. Hopefully, hope that helps, man. You, do you know what? If you have found this video useful and you think you would like to, to hear more from me, Click the subscribe button. And then if you wanted to, you could click the bell button. And that means that whenever I post a new piece of content, you will be the first to know. Have a good day.